four suspects arrested in connection with last week's terror attacks in Spain have arrived in Spain's national court in court in Madrid. The four men detained Drissau Kabir, Sahal El Karib, Muhammad Aala and Muhammad Holy Kemlo will face a judge for the first time on Tuesday at a special tribunal for terrorism. The judge will decide if they are to be charged. The last known member of the Barcelona terror cell was shot dead on Monday after he was cornered by armed police. While wearing a fake suicide vest, and Paulus have said they now believe they had apprehended all members of the cell. We were looking for 12 people and they are now all either dead or in custody, said the police chief, Josep Luis Trapero. Yunus Abu Yaqob was killed in a town 30 miles west of Barcelona, four days after he drove a van along the crowded tourist boulevard Los Ramblas, killing 13 people and injuring more than 130. Police said Abu Yaqob shouted, Allahu Akbar, God is greatest just before he was gunned down outside suburbs, shortly after local people called police to say they believed they had spotted him. Uncertain whether the vest he was wearing contained a real bomb or not, police deployed a robot to remove and examine the device, before confirming that it was fake. Five other members of the cell, including Abu Yaqob's brother Hussein, were shot dead by police in the coastal town of Cambrils early last Friday. They too were wearing fake suicide vests. Facebook Twitter Pinterest Yunus Abu Yaqob was gunned down outside Suburit's photograph. Spanish Ministry of the Interior, EPA an investigation into the cell's possible international links. Will stay open, authorities said. Meanwhile, up to 1,000 Muslims marched down Las Ramblas under the slogan, Muslims Against Terrorism. Yunus Abu Yaqob, 22, had fled Las Ramblas on foot and killed. A 14th person, named by police as Pau Perez, in order to take his car and escape from the city. Suburit's locator mapped the owners of a vineyard outside Suburit said police had warned them to leave the property after they saw a car crossing their land at high speed. They then heard a helicopter overhead and a number of police cars racing to the area.